Hi, I'm Lizzie Mino, and I'm Tess Cogley, and we're CD3 dancers here at Ballet Nova. Today we'll be interviewing Constance Walsh, and she is the director of the Enrichment Program and Adult Division, as well as the principal of the Pre-Professional Division here at Ballet Nova. Ms. Walsh recently choreographed a piece for the CD3 dancers called Dear Harriet Strong, which will be featured in our spring show at the Wharf, June 18th and 19th. Um, and today we'll be here to ask her a few questions about it. So we wanted to start asking you a little bit about your background. So what sparked your interest in choreographing and when did you start doing it? Okay, so the first, so I trained in ballet and jazz, I'd never taken any modern. So mm -hmm. I was definitely like on the ballet track. And then after senior in high school, I did a summer intensive up in Vermont mm -hmm. with someone called Daniel Nagrin. And he was a solo artist, um, really, he ended up at Arizona State University. He was brilliant, brilliant man and that and everyone there was like in their mid 20s mm -hmm. and had been choreographing and I was really nervous because one I didn't really know modern dance and then two I was like I'm not here yet but it was a great learning summer and I thought wow I think this is something I might be interested mm -hmm. yeah. in so that was the start <laughs> and then the first time I choreographed really was Martha Graham had a she called it a young choreographers workshop and she picked work, so you created a work, and she liked mine. So that was the first time that I got mine done. It was with four dancers. And uh, that was sort of the beginning of, this is something I'm really interested yeah. in. Yeah. I love the idea of the intellect part besides mm -hmm. the physical part yeah. of what choreography forces you to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. What inspired you to create this piece? I think it was Harriet Strong. Also, I think because we're in a pandemic and we've had to deal with so much that it seemed I wanted to pick somebody that was inspiring. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so this work is split into different sections. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about like, what each section means? So, the, the story is not really a story. It's more about Harriet and it's having her walk through the different emotions mm -hmm. that I'm feeling that she must have gone through to come to who she became. Right. And I think we all do that. And I think we all have to face death and trauma in our lives, so we like to avoid it. It does happen. You can't avoid it. And um, so that's, uh, that's, the theory of the piece. So it started out with the four daughters and I thought that shows the innocence and of life being normal. Mm -hmm. And then when something happens, it really does change your universe. Um, I had a personal experience with my parents that were in a fatal car accident and your whole life changes. And that was the second section, which is her dealing with the loss. And then the third section, is of course in your own mind you're dealing with your own doubt but she had those children and she had to do something so I'm sure that was part that propelled her and then I wanted to bring you know that line it takes a village that she had a community around her that supported her and helped her get to where she is and then of course it just ends up with showing the resilience of when you accept so the one section is called acceptance, and I think we all go through a period of grief, and then you accept it and move forward. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people get stuck, because that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. so. so what did your creative process look like as you choreographed Dear Harriet Strong? <laughs> it's, it started with one piece of music that I liked, and this is always what happens to me. I get a visual picture in my mind of what the stage is gonna look like. Yeah. That's what it starts. Yeah. I don't have any movement at all. It's just one piece of music, and then I start that one piece, and then it leads to the next, and that's kind of how I work. So it's not like I see the big picture. I, 
it, in this, I let Harriet kind of lead me through yeah. the steps. Okay. So then what was the most difficult part about the creative process? I think communicating emotion and telling and some kind of narrative, doesn't matter if the audience knows it or not, is one of the more difficult parts mm -hmm. of choreography. So for me, I spent so much time on like single movements thinking about, you know, what that was saying or, mm -hmm. um, yeah. so that would be the hardest, I think, is trying to tell the story without being literal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So our final question is, what is the biggest takeaway you have from this experience? Well, this may surprise you, but I think for me, the biggest, I was, all the dancers raised to the maturity of the movement much more than I would have thought. And that, I think, was, that as, you know, I, I get very emotional about it because the best thing as a choreographer is when the dancer takes the movement and makes it their own, and makes it different. Mm -hmm. I don't want everyone to do whatever gesture I'm doing. I want you to do it your way. So when I watch it now, it's it's the dancers that are making the piece. So that was my biggest takeaway, is, is um, how mature. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for being two dancers <laughs> that did that for me. <laughs> We really learned a lot. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed performing it. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It was so much fun. And wait till you see it. It's, I still cry every time I watch it. So. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> we hope you guys learned a lot, too, and we'll see you at the war.